All right, nice shot there, Seth. So that's kind of your stock shot, right? Mm -hmm. And if you look here, what you're going to see is we're going to look at three numbers here. We're going to look at our club path, our face to path relationship, and our face to target relationship. Okay. So our club path number you can see is three degrees right. Mm -hmm. So let me lay some sticks down here. I'm going to lay a green stick down to be our club head path. Okay. A blue stick down for our club face, and then I'll use this white one as our target line. Okay. So I'm going to put this target line right on the ball. We'll just pretend the ball is gone. Now this is our target line. This is where we're aiming the shot, right? Yep. Yeah. To hit that draw that you just hit, you can see that ball started just to the right of the flag. And mm -hmm. actually, if I look at that, you can see the face to target, 1.5 degrees. So it's just yeah. to the right of the target. So I'm going to put this blue line, this is going to be our club face, and you can see that it's just right of where we're aiming. Okay. But our club head path, you can see is 3 degrees right. So that's a little bit more to the right of our club face. Gotcha. What this does is this makes the draw, right? Our okay. face is closed with relationship to our club head path, mm -hmm. but it's open with relationship to our target. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Because if our face was closed to mm -hmm. our target, we'd be hitting pull Start draws, off. right? Yeah. We'd be hitting pull draws. So this is this is a good for the draw. So in order to hit the fade, we just have to do this exactly opposite. We've got to get our face a little bit closed to the path, or to the target, excuse me. And then we have to get our club head path even more left of that face. That's what we're going to be doing for this to hit this fade. Okay. And I know you know this in your head, but let's hit a few shots really thinking about this. Okay. And then let's see what it looks like on our flight scope. So let's, okay. grab, let's grab this ball here and let's try this again. You know what I'm going to do for you, Seth, too? I'm going to put these over uh, ahead of you. Okay. For some, Just for for some visualization. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to have you think about your club face going about like that. That's a little left of the target, isn't it? And then I'm going to have you think about your club head going even more that way. Let me double check those lines. This might help you just kind of feel it in your head. Okay. But go for it. Try to hit one there and we'll see what it looks like on the, on the flight scope. That's right. It didn't pick it up on the on the GC quad, but I did get it on my flight scope. Okay. So what you can see is your club path was four and a half degrees left, so that's oh, good. We good. were in that green zone, right? And our face to path was a little bit right. So our face to path is still in that, in that, um, well, Pointed. face to path is right is good, but what we see is face to target is even still a little bit more right. So, so that, that would have started been, right. Yes, it would have been more like that push fade. And what we'll see over here is that, that push fade. So let's try that one more time and okay. try to get that face a little bit more closed. Think about just starting this ball a little bit left of the target. As someone who is comfortable drawing it, would you recommend maybe like presetting the face a little bit? Not necessarily. Or? I don't. I don't like presetting the face as much just because um, it's changing the way I look at the ball, and I don't really like to do that. Mm -hmm. I'd rather just learn this, you know, through good. reps, right? Okay. And again, it, when it comes down to your your stock shot shape, it's stock for a reason, right? We can always go back to it. Mm -hmm. We're going to hit that shot 99% of the time anyway. This is just that specialty shot that you're not really going to be using very often. Okay. So it's let's just get ourselves to really force it, and then we'll kind of come back and okay. see what we need to do from there. Same feel, just... Yep, same exact feel. Just try it again. Uh, That's all right. Like you said, this is not your easy shot, right? No. Not your easy shot. No. So let's not even... I'm not even going to let you look at the data yet. Okay. You tell me what that ball did in the air. So I think my I think my path was good. My path was left, but I think my face was closed to my path. Okay, and if and you, I, I if chunked you look it at a that, little bit. So okay, if you look at that that um, that shot shape, would you does that make sense with your head? Yes. Yeah. Great. And you're and you're pretty right. So the club path, excuse me. Club path was close. It was about zero. It was like a lot. one degree left, right? <laughs> so it was it was left, but it was just barely left. But yes, the face was even more left than that, right? The face yeah. really shut down. And we can see that by the start line. Remember, the start line is mostly influenced by our club face. Okay. So if our, if our start line is really left, we know that our face was closed, right? Mm -hmm. So good. You tried to close your face in that one. You did it. Now let's just swing even further left and see if we can make this thing come around. So that would have been good if my, my first path number. Exactly. That would have been pretty close, at least. Yep. All right.
Awesome. I think I got that. Yeah, I think you did I too. I pick up again. I but. think you did too. Let's see what the numbers say here. Club path one and a half degrees left and face to path, 1.2 1 1 right, face target 0.4 left. So that would have been like the perfect baby fade. It would have been really, really good. And we can see that that ah, shot straight. down there, flight scope even said that's straight, right? But it yeah. was definitely a fade based on our numbers here. Okay. And based on your smash, you hit it really, really good. So we know that that was just probably just perfect yeah, little butter cut. Yep, that okay. was really, really good. Perfect. Let's try that one more time. Maybe we'll... And I want to I want to just show you a little trick here. I, wanna, okay. I want you to move that ball just a hair more forward than it would normally be in your stance. Okay. So the seven iron's a little bit forward anyway, but let's just go a touch more, and this will be a little bit easier to do. Okay. Nice. That one was good too. Yep. Let's see what it says. You can see your carry's going down, right? Because we're adding a little more loft and mm -hmm. kind of cutting across it. That's all good things here. All expected. Nice. Club pass really getting left now. 2.7. So that's about what your normal draw cut or draw um, path is, just opposite. That's really good. And then your face to target was three right. So that would have been more like that push the phase. Push yep. Mm -hmm. So you'll you'll find that kind of zone as you keep practicing it. Mm -hmm. Just know that that face has to be a little close to the target. Yep. And the club path has to be a little bit more left of that. So that was really good. Got it. Nice job, man. Cool.